Hi hands guys, it's Melanie and today I'm going to explain to you how I use my credit card to make free money. I love free money. Hey hands guys, it's Melanie. Dollar Tree DIY. Storage solutions for small houses. Like makeover. Let me show you what I got. I washed all of my clothes together. Let's go make something. Okay, so hear me out. I understand a lot of people do not like having credit cards and I totally understand that. If you are not the type of person that can keep a zero balance on a credit card, I totally understand you should probably keep it safe and not have a credit card. I, I get it. But keeping a credit card with a zero balance has two really, really, really good benefits to it. The first is it helps your credit score and you never know when you're gonna need the credit score for something and if you have a really good credit score, you're gonna save so much money if you need to borrow money. Secondly, you can make so much money, so much money, by using your credit card to get cash back. Plus, you can use that with other things to make more money and I'm gonna explain that. So let's start from the beginning, wherever the heck the beginning is. Where I think the beginning starts. A lot of people, they don't think they need you know, credit cards, they don't think they need a credit score. I was caught in a situation where I needed a credit score so I had to build a credit score. I have a whole video on that and I'll link it below. It's super easy to build your credit score, I promise. So anyway, if you don't have a good credit score, you can start with a smaller card and it might give you 1% cash back. And if you're thinking 1% cash back is not a lot, hear me out, you get a dollar for every $100 spent. So if you spend $500 that month and you use that card for groceries and gas and a bill or whatever, that's an easy $500. Once a week, you go pay it off before the bill comes, so there's no interest on it, and then you get $5 for absolutely no reason, and then it builds your credit score. As long as you pay it off at the end of every single week, pay it off, do not accrue interest. Some people have asked, is it that bad for your credit score? No, you just have to have less than 40% usage on your credit card. That is it. So if it's still at a zero and you're using a 0% balance, by the time your credit card uh, statement comes out, it's gonna really, really help your score. I opened a credit card which it deducts points because you just opened it and because they have to check your credit score. And then within six months, my credit score went up significantly. And within a year, it went up like 100 points. Like, trust me, start wherever you can. If you can't get a cashback credit card at first, you can always get a department store credit card. Um, Kohl's is a good one, JCPenney's is a good one. Try to go somewhere you're actually going to shop. I say Kohl's because if you spend $50 at Kohl's, you automatically get $10 back. You have to use it at Kohl's, but you spend $50 at Kohl's and then they give you $10. What is that, 20% for no reason? You have to spend it at Kohl's. And some people think Kohl's is more expensive, but that's really untrue because they have sales all of the time, whether it's clothes or crock pots or whatever you need, really good Black Friday sales. But if you have a credit card, you also get 40% off like every other month. So you're saving a lot of money because you have the card and you have the good deals. Let's get back to the cash back specifically cards. So I'm gonna link all of the credit cards below that the cash back credit cards that I'm talking about. But I started with, I think it was Capital One and it was called Journey. And it's for people that college students or someone like that doesn't have any credit. 1% cash back, built my credit score up and then I got two more uh, cards. So for your credit score to go up, you want like a couple cards. I have a whole video on that also. I will link that below. So then with the Discover card, you can get 5% cash back depending on what it is at the quarter. So you can gather that all together. So let's say Target. Now I get 5% off with a Target card. However, if you do not use your Target card, you get 1% cash back and three months out of the year, my credit card, my Discover card, that's linked below, gets 5% cash back. So I end up getting 6% off. But if you use a cash back site like Rakuten, I have a whole video on this also, getting cash back down below, then you're gonna get an extra two to 4% cash back. So you're saving up to 10% for absolutely no reason. Maybe that's getting cash back or maybe that's off the top. 
that's 10%. You're gonna spend $100 on groceries, 10% off. 10 bucks for absolutely no reason. That whole thing is explained below. So let's say, let's go back, I, I'm really bad at tracking off. Let's go back and say, okay, I have a cash back card and I get 5% cash back. Okay, let's say I spend $100 at the grocery store and I'm going to get 5% cash back, that's $5. If I do that every week, that's 20 bucks a month, just on groceries. So then you have all this extra money. So you get that, you can use that to pay off your card whenever you have your payment at the end of the month and just take it off of you know what you have to pay back and you have less there. Or, hear me out, every, every penny that you make back you could put that into a savings account that accrues 2%. So then you made $20 that month and in five months you have $100. You put $100 in the bank and then it's accruing 2% interest that you get or 2% it accrues, you get the 2% extra and it just sits there. That's like literally sitting for your retirement. Or if you're in a situation where you need the money, you can use that 5% to pay toward your balance at the end of the month. You're literally making money. When I explain this to people, they're like, I don't need a credit card, or, oh, you might, you know, why do you must use it for so much? How much do you have to pay on interest? If you pay your credit card off at the end of every week, there's no interest. Double check with your credit card because you never know. As long as you pay it off at the end of the week, there's no interest. I'm literally making 1% to 5% cash back for absolutely no reason. I'm just getting free money. The only thing I have to do is I take a couple minutes every single Friday and I pay off the balance of every single credit card and it's free money. And the credit score goes up. I. Why aren't people doing this? I promise you, it's like, it just takes you two seconds. Even if you start with a really small card or maybe you wanna start with a store card and you get cash back for that store. If you shop at that store all the time, Target or Kohl's or JC Pennies, you're gonna get bigger discounts on things that you're gonna buy anyway and you're gonna get cash back and it helps your credit score. All right, so moral of the story, cash back credit card, pay off your cards at the end of every single week, use the money to put into a savings account or to pay off your credit account. Free money for absolutely no reason, try it. You can also do it if you wanna use cash back for, uh, what am I saying? You can also do that with a cash back app for like rebates. You can do it with the store points. I have videos explaining that down below. I always save at least 10% on top of a sales price. It's so easy, I promise. It's linked below. If you have any questions, let me know. And the credit card that I started with and my favorite credit card, I'm gonna try to find a link for those and link them below. Anyway, I hope you guys like the finance videos. I know they're new to my channel, but everyone kept asking me, so I decided I would explain it. That's it. Please stay and subscribe. Bye.